Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 28 of Forgecraft on 116, uh, where I'm just chilling on the server. I uh, got my uh, pressure chamber rebuilding some pressure because it totally exploded uh, between episodes. Well, that's not true. The pressure chamber didn't explode, but one of these did. There was one of these I forgot to set the redstone behavior to enable on low signal. So while the redstone contraption setup that I did worked, the default of these is to be always on. So because I didn't change the redstone control in here, it blew up. I wonder if anybody noticed that. I wonder indeed. Um, so today what I want to do is play with a vortex tube and a refinery. So the refinery, what I want to work towards getting is some of the uh, cool fluids. Specifically lubricant would be cool. In order to get lubricant though, we need diesel and redstone in a thermal pneumatic processing plant, which I pronounced perfectly, thank you very much. Uh, and diesel is made in a refinery with oil. Uh, now, as you guys may recall the way this works, right? But the gist is you put oil in, and if you've got two refinery outputs, you'll get diesel and LPG, four and two. If you have three refinery outputs, you'll get diesel and kerosene and LPG. And if you have four refinery outputs, you'll get diesel and kerosene and gasoline and LPG. So I'm going to do like the top tier way, right? Uh, I think that seems pretty cool to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have here a vortex tube, which is going to be, there's going to be a cold side and a hot side. Can I rotate you with some kind of, yes, I can. Beautiful. Nice. All right, cool. And then you're going to get air pressure and you're going to generate heat. Um, because as we can see here, diesel um, is, is, is made when the temperature of the refinery gets above heat. So in Pneumaticraft, there's a couple power, quote unquote, power sources, right? One of them being uh, pressure, air pressure, and another being heat. And heat is used to power some machines, right? Where air pressure is used to power others. And this vortex tube will convert air pressure into heat. There's another uh, couple of heat sources. If you look in their book here, um, there's uh, some some specific items in the world will cause heat. So like air and snow and netherrack and all that stuff, lava. Um, but things will eventually stop being heat sources after some time. So for example, lava might eventually cool into obsidian. So you don't want to use lava as a heat source unless it's only temporary. Because we're going to be using this for a long time, we're going to want to hook this up. So red is hot, blue is cold. Right, makes sense to me. And then the other note on the book about heat is you should put uh, a heat sink onto the cold side. Um, that should help to dissipate the coldness of the cold. Makes sense, the coldness of the cold. Um, so that the vortex tube can do better. Uh, right, so does that sound cool? So let's get some buckets and we're gonna go get some oil now. Steal some of Soren's oil. Hey, he ain't using it. So is this oil from Pneumaticraft? It is, beautiful. We're gonna see how this works out. Cool. So boop, boop, and a boop. Sweet, oil goes in. Uh, and then we're gonna put refinery um, outputs on top of this dude. And hey, look, my system just kicked on. Sweet. So he's like, Jumping back and forth between 3.9 and 4 bars. Um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, he'll just kind of chill out here at 4 bars. And eventually, like, the air pressure stuff will stabilize to the point where it's always at 4 bars. And then it won't be flickering, right? Because um, air pressure kind of balances throughout the pipes and stuff. Um, so that looks cool, right? So that's going to do that. So now I think all we need is some heat. And that will probably turn on the compressors again because we lost some pressure because some of the pressure is going into here. See, west temperature is at, um, is at 85, 86, 87. Once it passes 100 here, we should be converting. Hey, look, it's working. Diesel and kerosene and gasoline and LPG. Nice. Cool. So he's chilling right around 103 on the west, negative 273 on the east. He can't dissipate the cold or the heat of the environment can't transfer into the vortex tube fast enough. So I think putting a heat sink here would probably be a smart move. So let's see what happens. Well, that, see how the east temperature went down a lot 
How cool is that? I love the heat mechanic in Pneumaticraft. Definitely one of my favorite mechanics in any mod. Number one, because it has a cool like color changing stuff, right? So you can see this guy, the heat sink here is really cold and uh, he's turning blue as a result, right? So we're basically allowing more heat from the environment to absorb into the vortex thingy faster and transfer the heat into the adjacent uh, refinery controller that much faster. So like temperature is going up even higher now because we stuck that heat sink on there, which is pretty cool, right? It's pretty cool. If I remember correctly, you can like have like heat sinks and stuff like that, like attached to other things and whatnot. Um, we'll see if that's necessary, but as it sits right now, I feel like it's enough. I think it's enough. Whee! So you're making diesel and kerosene and gasoline and LPG. Nice. It's super cool, but yes, on one side. I know. I know. I know. Dyer knows. All right, cool. So now what we ultimately want to get is lubricant, right? So... A um, couple things. We're going to want uh, a bigger tank. We're going to want a couple tanks. Did I automate ultimate tanks? Ultimate fluid tanks. Why, yes, I did. Five, please. Five ultimate fluid tanks. And what we'll probably set up um, is some kind of uh, thing that will transfer um, out of these dudes into an adjacent tank. Sound like a smart move? So like, you won't auto output, will you? I don't think so. Warning, machine is poorly insulated. 16 of 24 block faces, which are exposed to air, which waste heat. Ensure no neighboring blocks are air blocks to insulate the machine for better performance. That's cool to know. All right, cool. Need a burrito, I like it. So if I were to do that, 16 of 24 block faces. Now what do you have to say for yourself? 12 of 24 block faces. Oh. Okay. So I don't think the this thing matters. It's still 12 of 24. Yeah, interesting. Just testing, guys. I know it looks terrible. Hey, look at that, green. No problems. No problems. Insulating heat better. How much of a difference does that make, I wonder, right? Um, might make, you know, a smidge of difference. Looks like it's definitely a little bit hotter. Is it worth the ugliness? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it matters. I think what I read in the book um, in terms of like, which block type to use, it just doesn't matter. As long as it's, any block is about the same. Um, there's some blocks that transfer heat, so like you wouldn't want to use a heat sink, for example, or steel blocks. But other than that, I don't think it matters that much. I don't think it's that big a deal. I think it's whatever, right? Um, so I'm okay with a little bit of heat loss at the expense of putting dirt all around it or something similar. Um, so you don't seem like you want to auto adjacent output, right? So let's, a dupe that and we will mechanical pipe this stuff that sound cool so i'm gonna do you and you and that now what i'm gonna do is make you redstone sensitivity on off push pull none Oh, sweet. I can change the sidedness of this. So if I were to do this now, he doesn't connect. Awesome. None. Oh, no. Don't crash on me. Oh, good. We didn't. We're good. should take this out of my book. This guy has a few crashes. Just a few that we discovered. That is beautiful that we can do that, by the way. I love it. I love it. All right, cool. So then you're going to go there. And you're going to get pull, pull, ah, unintended, pull, ba -doop. and then you've got kerosene, 
and you've got that stuff. And then the final tank um, will be configured so that it pulls out of here, and that's gonna be my oil tank, right? And that's the plan for that. So I'll be able to go get some oil. Nobody tell Soren. Shh, it's a secret. It's a secret to everyone. Soren doesn't want this oil here anyway. I know that because he told me it. Which may or may not be a complete fabrication. Up to you guys to figure out if it's true or not. Man, do I miss reservoirs from thermal. Let me tell you. Miss me some thermal reservoirs. I can use the tank as a bucket, I'm being told? That's kind of cool. Can I, though? Doesn't look like it. Hey, whose oil tank is that? Got to toggle it? Do I have to, like, shift-click it or something? Uh, controls, category, mechanism. Uh, feet movements, module tweaker, show description, show details, show HUD voice. The only thing I can think of would be slash, but no, that's that. So I don't see a way to, to do that. Both fill empty. Oh, that's cool. I don't. I never saw this button before. Has that button always existed there? Has that button always existed there? Mechanism. There's an item mode switch, which is defaulted to N. Ah, bucket mode on. Sweet. That's cool. I like that. That is super spiffy. That or sneak and scroll wheel, also cool. All right, follow up question. Why are you all being fuzzy? About disappearing, you should all be disappearing a little bit faster. I guess oil dissipates slower than water. That kind of, that kind of makes sense, I can see that. Cool. All right, and I'll steal uh, I'll steal your oil as well. Wee. Wrong direction. Wee. Mm. He's a little bit. Yeah, I think it's just really bad at updating. What is it doing? Am I right that it's being really weird? It's being a weird liquid, right? Because there's definitely no solid blocks here. Well, these guys might be solid, yes, but... None of these are solid blocks. It's definitely, it's definitely not dissipating. Yes, okay. Yeah, it was just being weird. Just being weird. All right, you are nice and hot now, but I'm gonna give you some oil. Hey, no, no, no. Okay, I learned a thing. There you go. That works. Cool. So if I insulated that better, he would be cooler. I do wanna try, it used to be the case that if you made a pneumaticraft block of Steel, right? That's what this stuff is called. Compressed iron ingot. So a block of compressed. Right, so that's going to make the east temperature higher. If I do this, and then put a heat sink on this side, and then make another heat sink for this side, and then another heat sink for this side, this might be a little bit even better. Or maybe not, I don't know, I'm not sure. A little experiment. 
It doesn't seem any better, right? It definitely doesn't seem much better. This is about the same temperature we had before. So I think just a heat sink is probably sufficient. I don't think it needs to be all this complicated. But this technically would work because I believe those blocks dissipate heat pretty well. But now this will turn nice and blue and he'll be about the same temperatureiness. All right, that looks cool. That looks cool. All right, so now we just need to turn our stuff into things. So I want some lubricant, which is diesel and a thermal pneumatic processing guy, right? So thermal pneumatic processing guy. So you're gonna want a couple of these. And some reinforced slabs. And we're good. Now, reinforced processing guy, what do you need? Oh yeah, try saying that three times fast. Thermo pneumatic processing plant, thermo pneumatic processing plant, thermo pneumatic processing plant. See, not a problem, simple. Um, you uh, totally need a thing. So let's check out the book, which sometimes is crashy, I'm just warning you. Uh, machines. They might actually be under the category of manufacturing or not. There's some locked things, so that's a thing. Fluid mixer etching acid. It's thermal lagging. Oh. That's neat. Okay, that's cool. Should we try that? Lagging. That might be a nice way to insulate some things. Oh, look at that, it needs wool. Do I have shears? Kinda. Kinda, yes. Are any of these sheep normal sheep? Oh, look, a couple of them are. A couple of them are somewhat normal. I can always steal more from Soren if I need to. Thermal lagging. So does that mean I can apply that like this? Oh, look at that, that's, that I'll do. That I'll do. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then my warning should be nine of 24 insulated block faces. That I will do. Somebody killed all my sheep. Remember I had sheep? I don't have any more sheep. Somebody murderized my sheep. I just noticed Soren's sheep are not standing on the grass, so they're never gonna regrow a gold wool. Their wool is gone forever. Really, we have no wool? That's a bummer. Can we make it with anything? Not really. Uh, he might have some things. No, not really. I might have some things. Wee. So these guys can make a couple string for me. Actually, make a couple more. And then that's lots of wool. And then I can get, let's do like two more sets of thermal lagging. Are you happy now? One block, so the top. I wasn't 100% sure. Oh, thank you, Flanks. There we go. That's cool. That I'll do. That I'll do. I think that looks neat. That I do like. That I do like. All right, that's cool. All right, so now you're doing all your job, right? And that means we're just gonna process this faster, right? The hotter it is, the faster it processes. If I was really looking to maximize this, what I might do is put another vortex tube here. That could be doable, but I wanna see what thermal pneumatic processing plant requires. Cause I wanna say that it requires, does it require heat? It does require heat. So it needs to be above hundred C. So this guy also needs heat. Poor sheep, nobody asked you to fall. Um, so there's two things we could do for this. We either set up another vortex tube 
Or we could try to use the same heat from the same vortex tube. Let's just make another one. So just another vortex tube. Now this one, I think, needs both heat and pressure, doesn't he? Yes, he needs both heat and pressure. Okay, so we're gonna want to uh, apply both heat and pressure to him. So what I'm gonna do is something like this and rotate it so the hot side is there. And then we'll get some tubes. Boom. Now this guy should be generating heat. This guy looking good, nice. So he's getting the temperature that he needs to have. Now uh, we could just go ahead and throw a heat sink on here because it doesn't super matter, but doop. It's gonna make him even hotter, which is cool. Okay, move fluid. Move any fluid from the input tank to the output tank if possible. Hold shift to dump fluid. Thank you. Any mod that has fluid storage, please add a clear fluids option. I love when there's a clear fluids option. Uh, now, if I want lubricant, we're gonna wanna transfer diesel. That's this guy, right? Yes, diesel. So what we're gonna do, I might just do this buckets at a time, I think. Cool. All right, warnings, three of six block faces. Perfect. Um, we have five thermal lighting. And you can interact with it through the thermal lagging, which is cool, which is cool. Now what do I do, like shift right click on these? Can I pick these dudes up with something? Mm. Sheep, go away. Hey look, care, oh redstone, that's right. That's right, we wanted redstone in here, didn't we? Lubricant, diesel plus redstone equals lubricant. <laughs> oh my, and he even loses all his things when that happens, cool. Oh, hello, kerosene. Oh. Interesting. Well, what I could do is just mechanical pipe it, right, into the kerosene container real quick. There you are. So that is for future dire derps. Well, let's try that again. Do you have a buckets yet? Not really. Not quite a bucket yet. So that takes a little while to produce, to be sure, to be sure. Um, but maybe this will work a little better. So we'll do that and that and that. And let's come back in a minute once we have a bucket's worth of diesel. All right, guys, we're back. So I've got another bucket of diesel. I actually wound up throwing another uh, vortex tube in the back uh, so that this thing heats up even faster. So now he's getting to some really decent temperatures. Uh, and let's try this. Again, so this time we have the redstone in there like we're supposed to. Archon is like, hey, I saw Dire start a recording, so let's, you know, back up the server right this moment. Wow, that was really quick. He made lubricant super fast. Nice. All right, cool. So that means now I should be able to get speed upgrades uh, with that lubricant bucket, right? So drop of glycerol will make two speed upgrades. So how do we make glycerol? Vegetable oil and ethanol. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting. All right, vegetable oil and ethanol, and that'll make biodiesel. So vegetable oil is processing some kind of seeds or plant matter, okay. Uh, and ethanol is yeast culture and sugar. Yeast culture being water and some kind of mushroom. Well, that's neat, all right. That's cool, I can see that. Not super easy to get but not terrible either but let's stick with hey sugar I think we have a lot of sugar cane right I think we do yeah we have a lot 29,100 sugar cane I, I 
We'll be all right. I don't know how we got that much sugar cane, but it's the number that I have. Alrighty then. So now, can I speed upgrade you? I don't think I can, right? You're strictly based on heat. But what I can speed upgrade is this buddy over here, right? This guy gets upgrades um, somewhere. I think just in here is where they go, right? Yeah, in this spot. So that'll make him run a little bit faster. And uh, as a result of running a little bit faster, he will then generate more pressure and maintain a higher pressure in all our machines, which will be good. Because all these machines running right now is really, you know, taking a dip on my pressure. So having speed upgrades to help out with that, very, very useful. Um, now I wonder if I can disable the pressure over here so that we don't waste it. Isn't there some kind of tube that we can like a restrictor or something? Regulator tube. This module limits the pressure allowed on its low side based on the redstone signal it receives. No signal equals 4.9 bars. A full signal equals zero bar, no allowed. And other signal levels are interpolated. Air is always allowed to travel backwards through the regulator to make it usable as a one-way valve. Isn't there another way to do it? Um, flow detector, I guess that's what we want, right? Safety tube? No, I think we just want the regulator module. Two of these. One, two of these, and this. Now, which direction is the regulator is probably the question. Well, that's interesting. If I can Hello. I don't know what direction you're going, but we'll find out. So you are currently at that bar. Now if I give you a redstone signal, courtesy of a lever. Are you still going up? You are. So I feel like you need to face the opposite direction, right? And then pressure's going down over here. Perfect. That's what I would want to see, right? So pressure's going down over here. If I turn off the redstone signal, pressure starts going back up. See it? Redstone signal. Pressure starts going down. So this will allow um, us to turn on and off these machines over here, right? Wow, his temperature got really hot. That's awesome. 506C. I guess that's what happens if you're not using the heat for anything. So let's get another bucket, and we can do that. And he may have enough pressure still to make us another lubricant bucket, because he's got some residual pressure going on over here, right? Um, and then we can use that for another speed upgrade which can go into this dude, which will increase um, the pressure generation, right? Max production, 28.13 milliliters, and this is 12.5. So this guy's already more than double, more than double speed, which is awesome. If we take one of these out, he would be at 18. Yeah, so it looks like a 50% like a bump maybe, which is pretty cool, but it definitely, I think, scales pretty quickly. So once we have another bucket of diesel or two, um, our... Our, our speed upgrades will really make more of an impact, which is cool, right? And this guy's pressure should slowly be dissipating because he's, you know, running low. Though he doesn't technically need pressure for this recipe, or he does. Or he does. Lubricant needs... It doesn't say lubricant needs pressure, but some recipes I know do need pressure. So like this, for example, needs pressure. But because there's no little pie chart thingy over here. Yeah. Oh, man, that guy needs a lot of pressure. 4.5 bars to turn a block of diamond into a diamond drill bit. That's cool. What's that used for? Max blocks per dig, 128. 
Say what now? Faster than compressed iron. Oh. That's cool. He does like a 3x3 three three dig. Neat. Is he used in like a recipe or something? That's new, right? I don't recognize that from Pneumaticraft. There's definitely some new and cool toys to play with in here, right? That's pretty neat. Was that that was a Pneumaticraft item, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, there they are. Sweet. Netherite drill bit. That's cool. That's cool. That is super cool. Ooh, and that requires some machines. Nice. Yeah, it might be for drone stuff. Guard drone, collector drone, harvesting drone, maybe. That could be for, for drones. Yeah, that might be for drones. We're going to have to definitely play with drones before we're done playing with this mod. Because uh, definitely some stuff I haven't seen before, which is neat. All right, so we need another bucket of diesel, and then we'll be really cooking, I think, with this guy. Um, yeah, he's doing great. The pressure's actually building pretty nicely. Let's come back in a few minutes after I convert a few buckets of diesel into more lubricant. All right, guys, we're back. Trying a little something. Lava around a compressed iron block might do some extra heat for us. So we're trying that out to see how it works out. Because lava's pretty hot. You know, definitely not cold. So now this compressed iron block might get even hotter. Look at that. We are bumping up some nice temperatures. Now this lava might turn into obsidian. I don't know at what stage that occurs, but it's definitely a possibility. But this should be producing fluids a lot quicker, uh, which is cool, right? Oh, yeah, it's definitely faster, right? And then we can lubricant you. Hey. Recipe, please. Oh, well, that's a diesel bucket. Hang on, that's why. <laughs> now, you're a little bit chilly, a little bit cool. Bump you up, give you some pressure. And we don't have to give you a ton of pressure. As long as he has enough to get a little heat up, he should be good. There you go. And that would be that. And I think putting upgrades into the same one drastically improves the rate at which it increases. Because I think it was 48 with just three in there. Like if I take these all out, see it's 12 to 18, that's plus six. To 28, that's plus 10. To 42, that's plus 14. To 63, that's almost plus 20, right? Um, 42 to 63, yeah, that's like 20. So speed upgrades definitely, it's better to put four speed upgrades in one compressor than it is to put two in each, right? And that'll produce um, pressure a lot faster, which will also increase the temperature over here. Wow, we're up to 322 degrees. Oh, look, come, look, we've got obsidian happening. Obsidian happened. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. That's a little bit of a bummer. But still, I think the uh, the speed upgrades here. See, now we're up to 94. So that was plus 30 milliliters per tick of production of air. So that's pretty, pretty, pretty big increase, right, in terms of stuff. So that's cool. And that's going to make this even hotter. Yeah, look, we've totally lost out all our obsidian here. That's the downside of obsidian, right? Do we have this on precision mode? We do. I guess it's probably a better idea to keep the obsidian there. That'll reduce heat loss, right? Yeah, it seems like heat's being lost slower there. Let's see what other heat sources there are from in-world D type stuff. Um, heat mechanics, maybe? We'll see. Uh, there was a thing that showed me all the heat producers, wasn't there?
Here we are. Heat sources. Um, magma cools to netherrack. Water freezes. Lava cools to obsidian. Campfires will go out. Um, engineering uranium blocks. That's cool. Uranium might work. That's neat. Okay. So what we could try, what we could try is uranium. I think we've processed it all, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. I think it'll probably just be worth our time a little bit better to ramp up our temperature production. But that's a cool way to do things, right? Definitely doing heat here by way of lava. That's a neat, that's a neat approach. It definitely gives you a temporary speed up, but it turns to... It turns to obsidian way too quickly. Anyway, I'm going to call that a good wrapping up point for the episode. So we got some fluid handling today. Uh, next episode, we'll come back and play a little bit more with New Mathcraft. Um, probably taking a look at uh, drones. Or at least we have to get that processing line, like the assembly line thing. And then we can play with drones, right? So for now, Dell 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We will come back next time to play more with that stuff. For now, you know what to do. Take it easy.